Booyah Bomb is one of the best specials in the game, but it's not actually super common that you see it splatting anyone by itself at a competitive level. If you find yourself just getting caught and not having a way out of it, there's probably something in this video you could be doing better to avoid it. The sooner you notice it, the better, which is why you should make sure to get regular checkups from your doctor even if you don't feel sick. With Booyah Bombs, you have three ways you could know it's been activated. One is that you see the heads-up display icon of a player whose weapon has Booyah Bomb go from glowing to not glowing. Two is that you see the player rise up into the air. And three is you hear this audio cue. Two of those you don't need to see the player to recognize. So even if you're not looking in the right direction, they should still clue you in a lot of the time. But it's also very important to keep your camera focused at eye level, looking at the part of the map the enemy team is most likely to come from. This gives you information about a lot of things, and not just about Booyah Bombs. Once you recognize a Booyah Bomb is being used, you need to do two things as soon as possible. The first one is to make sure that you have eyes on where it's being thrown from, and the second one is to make sure that you have two safe painted escape routes. If the Booyah Bomb is thrown directly at you, you won't have time to escape it unless you see it coming at you before it lands and you start moving ahead of time. So you need to see where it gets thrown before it starts detonating. If you only have one direction you could run away in, a smart player will throw the Booyah Bomb in that direction to cut you off and force you in a direction that either isn't painted well enough for you to escape the Booyah Bomb expanding, or is well guarded by the enemy team. If you have two directions you can escape in though, wherever the player throws that Booyah Bomb, provided you've got eyes on its landing point, you should be able to avoid it without ever getting touched. When you see the Booyah user in the air, I recommend dropping into the ink and staying stealthy when you can. But sometimes that's impossible or unnecessary. Also, if you're close enough to it with other teammates nearby, it's possible you may be able to team up with them to shred it. If you see a teammate shooting at a Booyah user early on, and you're in a position to help them early on, make sure to go for it, because they're committed, and if they don't get help and succeed in shredding it, it may just get thrown at them, and end up taking them out. Finally, Booyah Bombs destroy bombs, so don't waste throwing any into the explosion, but you can paint through a Booyah Bomb, even while it's detonating. So, and yes, I do need to go into this every time I talk about Booyah Bomb, Booyah is not a painting special. If the enemy team tries to use it on the splat zone and it's not targeted in a way to disrupt any enemy players, just laugh and paint through it and look at how funny it was that they wasted a special.